In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create this parametric pergola design in Rhino and Grasshopper and how to render it using Stable Diffusion. First, we change the unit to meters. And draw a 25 by 40 meter rectangle with the diagonals. Then, draw an ellipse inside the rectangle. We delete the diagonals and copy the ellipse and move it 6 meters towards Z direction. Select the ellipse and type planar surface in the command line. Press enter. Then, delete the ellipse curve. After that, we rebuild the surface by typing rebuild and select the surface plus enter. We specify the new values of U and V. We check delete input and press OK. Then we press on show object control points, select the surface and press enter. Now we select the points we want to adjust and move them towards Z direction. We perform planar surface command to the base surface. In Grasshopper, we assign the shell surface. We get the surface edge. And offset it on the shell surface by using the offset on surface command. We assign the base surface and perform project command to project the shell edge to the base surface. Then we divide the two obtained curves with the same count by using the same slider. We do shift list for the first and second set of points with the same value. And do line from two points comment. Then we select the lines we want from the two sets of lines by using list item command. Using Lunchbox plugin, we connect the base surface with the diamond panels. We extract the pattern curves and perform projection to the shell surface. And then, we do piping to the projected curves and the shell edge.
we do piping and bake the columns also. In Rhino, we select the columns and perform mirror command. The last step is to assign a material to the shell. And then select the 3D model and export it as DAE file. Import the 3D model file in Lumion. and export the perspective view you want. Open Stable Diffusion. Import the image here. Click Enable. Choose the model and the preprocessor. Change the dimensions. Write the positive and negative prompts and press generate. Try to change the seed value each time to get different result. Here are the final results. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing for more tutorials like this.